The Kenya Forest Service Green Zones Development Support Project Phase 2 has today received a major boost of 15 tractors and three field vehicles. This is part of its efforts to rehabilitate over 300,000 hectares of degraded natural forest. Speaking during the flagging of ceremony at Karura Forest, Chief Conservator of Forest Julius Kamau noted that the vehicles will support nursery operations and transport seedlings to planting sites during tree planting seasons in 15 forest sites around Mount Kenya Forest, Abadeas and the Mao ecosystems. Kenya Forest Service Chief Conservator of Forest Julius Kamau during the flag of ceremony of 18 motor vehicles to be used in the restoration of forest cover in 15 counties. Mao calling on more partnership in conservation efforts to actualize rehabilitation of 357,000 hectares of degraded natural forests. Forest Service has put in place a very strong partnership and linkage initiative to be able to rally partners who can come and join us and support us and complement our effort to be able to advance our mandate to conserve and protect these public forest resources. He noted that the six years Green Zone Development Support Project Phase 2 is being supported by the African Development Bank and in its second year. He said the project has begun transforming forest covers and contributing to the country's climate change resilience through conservation and livelihoods and a boost to food security. On his part, Kenya Forest Service Chairman Peter Kimathi Kinyua said they intend to plant 6 million trees in six years as well as improve the welfare of the service staff to actualize the project's theme. The six-year program shall help in propagation of 60 million tree seedlings and support reforestation and afforestation of 36,000 hectares of degraded landscape both in government forests as well as community farmlands. Ben Troy Lunchtime News.